have a most curious ad in their listing of automobiles. I read with suspicious amusement what seemed like a wild stroke of luck. For that stingray, it said, low mileage, bright red, 83 model, 65 bucks. Now I was used to my newspaper's typos. Still, I called up that number straightway. About that 83 vet, have you sold that thing yet? She said, no, you're my first call today. I said, there's been some mistake in the paper. They printed the price wrong somehow. Oh no, replied she, they got that from me. I said, don't sell that thing, I'm leaving now. Her address was in part of the city Where I ventured just one time or two Where surgeons, bank presidents, and lawyers are residents And the houses are passive and new As I turned up her half-mile driveway There in the heat of the day In the sunlight it gleamed the car of my dreams Only sixty-five dollars away was done in white leather. It had a souped up 350 V8. Ball wingspan doors, first floor on the floor, and the 8-track player was great. There was chrome on the chrome on the fenders, and an aerodynamic design. A bar, a TV, and this was boggling to me. That for 65 bucks, it was mine. I expected this woman was crazy to sell off this car at that price. But as we walked down the lane, she seemed perfectly sane. She was charming and really quite nice. And she smiled in such great satisfaction as she handed me title and keys. I said, I just gotta know why you let this thing go. Tell me what's wrong with this car, tell me please. Says she, I'll be 60 come Tuesday, and I've lived here with my husband Earl. But after 30 years wed, and without a word said, he left me for a much younger girl. But with his credit cards left here behind him, I knew that he couldn't get far. Last night from Florida, he sent an email to me saying, I need money, dear. Sell the car. <laughs> if that's not a true story, it should be. <laughs>